and today I want to talk to you about Franken batting. I have to tell you, I love scraps. I love fabric scraps, but I also love my batting scraps because I can use them to get a whole new project out of them by sewing them together. That's what I call Franken batting. So once you have your pieces of batting left over from another project, they're probably all different sorts of lengths, different widths. It's a really good idea to take them and to start by squaring them up. This will help you a lot later when we're gonna be sewing them together. You wanna to make sure that those edges are nice and straight. Measure out the project that you're doing, or if you just wanna sew some batting scraps together to use it for a future project, kind of figure out which ones you wanna to sew together. I like to lay them out on the ground and get an idea of which pieces match up really well from different projects that I've used. To sew them together, we're gonna to bring them over to our machine and we are gonna sew them together with a wide zigzag stitch. I like to use a width of about 6.5, nice and wide, and a length of about 2.5. What you're looking to do is to secure these two together, but it doesn't have to be a really tight zigzag. You want to have the flexibility that your batting already has and bring that into your stitch. I'm using a normal piecing foot and some normal piecing thread. I'm using purple today, but if I was at home, I'd probably use a color that blends in with my batting. Start by positioning your two pieces of batting right next to each other. You don't want them overlapping. You also don't want a gap. You just want to have them right next to each other. You don't have to backstitch when you start. Just simply start sewing, keeping that batting nice and flat. I like to put my hands one on each side and gently guide it through my machine. You'll notice that as I go, I stop and I reposition my hands, making sure to keep the two pieces of batting next to each other. I'm not trying to pull on it or to push it through the machine because I really want them to stay nice and flat together. If you've ever tried this before and you've got your seam that was kind of puckering a little bit or bunching, it was one of probably two reasons. Either your batting wasn't nice and square or you were pulling on it a little bit. Let's let the machine do the work. Now I have two pieces of batting sewn together. You'll notice that they don't quite match up here. That's okay. I'd probably trim this off and then add another piece if I wanted to make this even bigger. I use these franken batted pieces for multiple projects. Smaller pieces get turned into tote bags and zipper pouches, maybe even a set of coasters or placemats, and larger pieces get used for baby quilts and I've even done a throw size quilt. That's how you sew two pieces of batting together or what I like to call Franken-batting. <laughs>